on all the fallout from the Mueller report. Here is Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace ahead of the weekend. Chris, great to see you. Uh, first off, I, I would play for you what uh, uh, the vice president told us in the nine o'clock hour today, uh, his reaction to the attorney general not testifying before that House committee yesterday. Here's the vice president. I served on the Judiciary Committee for 11 years. I can recall no occasion where lawyers for the majority of the minority questioned a member of a president's cabinet under either party. I mean, I served under a Democrat president, I served under a Republican president. Members of the Judiciary Committee, elected members of Congress, ought to be able to do their job. Remarkable to hear that perspective from the vice president there earlier this morning, Chris. Yeah, first of all, nice job uh, in your interview you. with the vice president. I was watching this morning. Uh, Thank you. I have to say, I kind of agree with the vice president on all this. You know, I, I, I know there's some history of asking staff lawyers, but, it, but it's pretty rare. It hasn't happened recently. And frankly, it, it, there certainly is the implication it was going to look and sound like the Watergate hearings where staff interviewed witnesses or the Iran-Contra hearings where staff interviewed witnesses. And I don't think that was entirely a coincidence on the part of the Democrats. I think they were trying to make it look like some kind of major uh, investigation like that. And, and remember, you know, it's one thing if you were going to be interviewing, I, I think it would still be odd, if you were going to be interviewing Robert Mueller, who spent two years investigating, this is uh, Bill Barr, who is doing nothing but uh, talking about a report which he read, which he had nothing to do with. So the idea that you'd need to get counsel to drill down on the Mueller report uh, with the attorney general who just received the report and s forwarded it on to Congress, it, I have to say it does sound and seem and look like a bit of a stunt. And Nancy Pelosi really took it a step further in that news conference yesterday, Chris, where, as John Roberts just said, she used the L word to describe the attorney general. Here's the Speaker of the House. He lied to Congress. He lied to Congress. If, and if anybody else did that, it would be considered a crime. Uh, you, nobody is above the law, not the president of the United States and not the attorney general. Being the attorney general does not give you uh, a bath to go say whatever you want, and it is the fact because you are the attorney general. I, and Lindsey Graham has responded to that, saying that she needs to apologize for making such a claim. Well, you know, the interesting question, if I had uh, Speaker Pelosi on Fox News Sunday this week, I would say is, all right, so what are you going to do about it? If you believe that he lied to Congress, and more importantly, you say he committed a crime, what are you going to do? Uh, and this, of course, raises the question about what Congress is going to do, because uh, the, the White House and the Attorney General have made it pretty clear that uh, they are not going to turn over uh, a lot of documents. I think, you know, it, it, you were being, or uh, uh, John was being very cautious in saying, well, they haven't tipped their hand, but there is an inclination. I think it was pretty clear from the Heritage interview yesterday yeah. that there's no chance the president is going to allow Don McGahn, his former White House counsel, to testify. And then the question is, what do they do about it? You can see Sue. Uh, that's what uh, Republicans did in 2012 to Eric Holder when he refused to turn over documents. You can hold the attorney general in contempt of Congress. That's also what Republicans did to Eric Holder in 2012. And guess what? Nothing came out of it. It, it you know, it, it didn't get through the courts and they're, they're able to run out the clock. So you can take these steps. But do I think that anything is going to come out of it? Do I think that somebody is going to go arrest the sergeant at arms in Congress yeah. is going to go arrest uh, the attorney general? Uh, I suspect not.